everybody, Coach Steve here, SoCalRunning.com, SoulRunners.net, MarathonTraining.tv. I'm at DHP Elite Training Centers where I I'm going to go through actually a VO2 max test both on my bike and running here performed by Richard Diaz. Uh, it's a state-of-the-art facility. Here's the testing area in here. You'll get to see me on all this. And then if you're just interested in the facility, They have a whole training center back here as well. So the goal here is to really find out, you know, what heart rate zones I should be training to maximize my efficiency so my body burns the most amount of fat versus sugar. That way I'm going to be able to last longer and build that threshold up so I'll be able to go longer, faster, burning at least more fat or the same amount of fat and less sugar. I mean that's the whole goal here. So I'm going to get some solid numbers, I'm going to put this all to the test and let's see what happens. This is the mask that goes over your face. I got to tell you, it's it's not comfortable. It felt actually pretty claustrophobic, especially on the bike. Uh, the breast felt kind of hard to get, but you need a tight fit. You don't want any leakage on the mask to get the most accurate results. The test itself, each test lasts around 10 minutes at a progressing effort, and while your heart rate's being monitored at the same time by some of this equipment right down here and you have uh, readouts going out. I know I wasn't looking at the readouts, I was just trying to, to do the effort and just see where, where the numbers ended up afterwards. And then afterwards you get a nice little chart and I'll show you that in a second. But um, man, I did not like having this on my face. It was hard to breathe. So at the end of the test Richard gives you a whole summary of, of what you've been doing so you know what to do and then he spends time actually going over your personal numbers and what you should be doing. So just kind of going over it, there's uh, some key categories here, anaerobic threshold time trial, aerobic base development, motor skill development, lactate tolerance training, and then active recovery and then he can give you exact numbers that you should spend time in those ranges. Now I have one because uh, for most people the numbers are very different between the running over here and my cycling scores over here. So it was nice to be able to, to look at both of these. So if you come in and you want a dual test you have to bring your bike as well and he sets you all up on that. I really learned a lot, a lot of valuable information. Uh, the way I've been training my numbers, I've been, you know, kind of guessing my numbers. I've never had actually solid numbers to look at. And you know me, I always believe, you know, I've got a Garmin, I've got all the tools, so it's even better if I have all these tools to be able to use the tools properly. So now I've actually got numbers, you know, um, objective feedback that I'm going to use and see how it improves my training and hopefully my times will go down because of it. It's something that I recommend. Um, DHP Elite Training Center is up in Camarillo. I'll put the uh, website down so you can list it on the article and you can come in here and uh, we'll see if maybe we can even set up some type of sponsorship deal with them. But this is a great, great uh, place to come and get tested. Richard's been doing this for thousands and thousands of people. He's seen the numbers and so he's a guy I trust and I think it's a good thing that if you can take advantage of something like this and afford it, it's definitely worth it. All right, so that's it. I'm really excited. I got my, my uh, VO2 max scores today and I'm getting ready to go home. Remember, have a great day and train focused.